Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's JPR, and welcome back to another video. Today, we got some exciting news to discuss regarding the 22nd Pokemon movie, which was revealed in a post credit scene for Pokemon Everyone's Story, the new movie that just premiered in Japanese theaters last night. Because, in case you didn't know, almost every single Pokemon movie in Japan ends up having a teaser for the next film at the end of the movie. It's like the Marvel Universe, except these movies don't tie together as well. Or at all, most of the time. But anyway, according to multiple eyewitnesses, this is how the teaser goes. The screen starts off black, and then there are these realistic bubbles that begin to fade in. As this happens, you hear the original voice of Mewtwo wondering, where am I? Repeating his first words from the movie Mewtwo Strikes Back. We then see Mewtwo open its eye to look around, except unlike the first movie, this Mewtwo is rendered completely in CGI. In fact, the teaser itself is entirely CGI from what people are saying. Unfortunately, we don't have any photos or footage of this teaser trailer because that would be illegal, so we're just gonna be okay with that. Although we do have the logo and title for the movie, the movie is titled Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution, with the logo being almost exactly the same as the original logo for the first movie in Japan, with just the word evolution slapped on it. We have no confirmation if this is a retelling, a remaster, a sequel, or anything else of the sort, but I do have a guess to throw out there. Judging by the way the trailer was presented and how these alternate universe movies have gone so far, I would venture to say that this will be a movie done entirely with 3D digital animation. That's right, a movie made entirely from CGI, just like the teaser trailer is. That may also explain the evolution part of the title, since this would quite literally be an evolution of animation. And frankly, I think this theory lines up pretty well with what they've been doing lately. If this is the case, then that means that all three alternate universe movies from Generation 7 will have three completely different animation styles, something that they've been experimenting with a lot lately. Now, don't think that this means that I'm supporting the idea of a completely CGI Pokemon movie. Trust me, I've seen Pokemon CGI in past movies, and it's not great. This is just my guess as to what they will be doing for the movie. But on the other hand, 100% of teaser footage never makes it into the final movie. So this teaser being made completely with CGI could mean absolutely nothing. Remember, the teaser for the Zoroark movie first showed Ho-Oh and Lugia battling each other. Yeah, that didn't happen. And the teaser for the Volcanion movie showed Zygarde's complete form would be the star of the film, and he ended up being in it for maybe 20 seconds at most. There are countless other examples of this that I will not go into because I think you get the point. The teaser usually gives almost no indication of what the final film will be like. But anyway, let's move on to the topic of the movie itself. Mewtwo presumably going through the same arc that he did in the first movie. Now naturally, there are some upset people saying that they need to stop the nostalgia pandering because let's be real, that's all that they've really done for the last two years. And if this movie ends up just being a remake of Mewtwo Strikes Back and nothing more, then I'm gonna be a little upset. But at the same time, I can't really fault them for nostalgia pandering at this point. I Choose You proved that nostalgia makes a lot of money, especially after the colossal failures of the XY movies at the box office. If I'm being honest, I definitely wanted a Sun and Moon movie instead, since 2019 will most likely be the final year of Alola, but I can understand why OLM is steering away from that idea. Number one, Alola is so different in its tone and adventures that it's hard to imagine what an Alolan movie would even begin to look like. Where would they travel? What would they do? What main characters would they bring along? And two, I think they've accepted that the main universe Pokemon movies just don't make a profit anymore. I mean, it's sad, but it's true. The amount of money each Pokemon movie makes at the box office has been on a slow decline ever since the Johto series. And then the bottom really fell out when Hoopa and the Clash of Ages premiered. Volcanion and the Mechanical Marvel sadly ended up making even less money, being the worst performing Pokemon movie ever in Japan. So if alternate universes and Gen 1 pandering is the only way they're gonna make any money from these films, then who am I to argue with them? This is a business after all. Not that I'm not excited for this new film, I love Mewtwo and his whole story, and I'm excited to see if this movie will add anything new to his character. Maybe it'll also wash out the awful taste in my mouth lingering from the Genesect movie. So, what do you guys think? Are you excited or disappointed to see yet another movie about Mewtwo? Be sure to leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and subscribe to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time.